people don't worry about their privacy all the time or don't think about their privacy all the time, and they shouldn't have to. But at the same time, when technology violates their privacy, um, then they feel violated because their autonomy is being violated. So we're looking at what are actually things that, that, people, that are surprising to people, data practices that are surprising to people, so that we can then give them specific warning and information about those practices and couple that with some kind of action they can do. We've done research on smart speakers, uh, voice assistants like Alexa or Google Home, and actually voice can reveal a lot about you, right? So when you speak with your smart speaker, it's not just the command you're giving, but it's also at what time are you interacting with that smart speaker? Um, based on your voice, are you male, are you female? Uh, how old might you be? Are there kids crying in the background, right? All of this can reveal lots of information that then companies might be interested in using to um, advertise to you. There are a couple of things we can do to be a bit more conscious about our privacy without putting up our tinfoil hats and, and just saying we don't use any technology. Something else I always do when I install a new app or sign up for a new service or buy a new device, I, the first thing is I look for the privacy settings. Um, are there things that I can opt out of? Um, in the US, the regulatory framework means that often everything is activated by default, uh, data collection is activated by default, but the, you can opt out of certain things. So I think we need to think about how um, information that, or information traces that we leave online or through our interactions with mobile apps and smart devices, um, how those might be used to profile us and figure out, oh, what are the personality characteristics of that person or what are their preferences or political leanings and um, realize that companies and some actors are really interested in exploiting this to target specifically to you and not just um, what might be the next chocolate bar you want to buy but also trying to convince you about a certain political direction.